Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the Xiaomi 13 Lite. Yeah, the first thing I want to show you is a little sidebar, almost invisible here, but if you swipe it out, you will have access to your most favorite apps. And what is pretty cool, if you open it, it opens in a pop-up view and you can put it in another position and so on. So pretty, pretty nice. But don't wonder if this doesn't work at you right now because you have to enable this feature first. Let me show you how. So just scroll down your right next to the camera, then you open the control center and the part of the control center is obviously the symbol for the settings. So just tap on it. Now you need to scroll down to the point additional settings and you will find a bit below the point floating windows. Tap your own sidebar and you need to enable your always show, like in my case. No? So that's marked blue. And then uh, whenever you need um, yeah, an important app, just swipe out this little bar here and then you have access to your favorite apps. And if you tap on it, it opens in this floating window and so on. You can move the position to another place and you can do multitasking with it. You can do something else while you are uh, writing these messages and so on. And if you want to have it on full screen, just swipe the lower bar here um, down and you will have uh, this uh, app on the full screen. And if you want, you can also clone apps here with the phone. So that means if you want to have maybe two WhatsApp accounts, that is possible. No? Why not? You can insert two SIM cards. Why not having uh, one WhatsApp account for each number? That works. No? Or you can clone Instagram if you have more than one Instagram account. You can also clone games here. No? Maybe you're playing Clash of Clans as well and then you can have two villages. No? Um, let me show you how this works. So just scroll down your right next to the camera, tap down on the symbol for the settings, and then look here for the point apps. And you will find the point dual apps. And with that, uh, uh, with that feature, you can clone apps. Just tap here on create. And now you will see all the apps which one are able to clone. Most of the time, um, these are 95%. No? Okay, so then let's clone WhatsApp. No? Let's keep going on our example. Just turn it on here. Turn on. And the phone is creating a second WhatsApp account. Let's go back here. And yeah, let's do the same here for Instagram. And why not? Let's complete it with Facebook as well. And yeah. You can clone, by the way, also Netflix. No? That means if you share your Netflix uh, account also with other people and or have or have shared with more than one, no? then you can have uh, uh, multiple um, Netflix apps here. You can also, as I have said, um, clone games. Pretty, pretty nice. But now let's have a look how it looks like, how you can compare these both apps. Then, no? uh, yeah, my main WhatsApp account. My second one, no? my main Clash of Clans account, my second one. And as you can see, you can always recognize the second app here with the orange mark here at the corner. You can see it here with a Netflix account. No? So my main Netflix and my second one, the orange mark here is always the second app. So a pretty, pretty nice feature. The next feature I want to show you is something for our eyes. So something pretty simple, uh, but let us use the size of the screen. Now we can enlarge the text size and that's much better for the eyes. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll on your right next to the camera, tap here on the symbol for the settings, and now look for the point display. And if you scroll down a bit here, you will find the point text size. And here you can increase or decrease the text size. Now, normal is uh, S, but I have increased it already for you that you can follow the video better. But I would recommend to you, or uh, would not recommend to you that you increase it too much because uh, that affects um, yeah, of course, the, the, uh, the settings in a good way, but uh, the notifications here, they are too enlarged and uh, then you can't really read well the previous and so on. So this is why I recommend to you to um, have it at maximum here, the text size at L. That's pretty enough, so pretty nice. Yeah, the next feature is also for our eyes. It's a blue light filter because we are looking all too much on our smartphone screen meanwhile and it gives our eyes a lot of stress. But there's a way to reduce that stress with the blue light filter. And let me show you a bit more about. So just scroll down your right next to the camera. Then you will have some shortcuts here in the control center and also a second page, by the way, with much more. And one of the new shortcuts is here, the eye symbol, the reading mode. Just tap on it and you will see that the color of the screen has changed now a bit a little bit yellow, a yellow touch. Yeah? That's the blue light filter. And uh, let me show you some more options because if you long press it, uh, you can also 
uh, change the opacity at yeah, the classic modes. Please don't take the paper mode, that's black and white. So choose the classic mode, tap on the arrow, and now you can change the color temperature. And as more warm the color temperature is, as better it is for your eyes. If you say you don't like that really on the day, I really recommend to you to have a latest, a latest in the evening because uh, it affects also your sleep in a better way if you have enabled here the blue light filter. So, and if you say you don't want to have it here on the day, and then uh, you can charge it automatically uh, that you don't have to turn it on and off by your own. So, go back here one step so that you're back in the reading mode and below here you can chat you this reading mode. No? And you can turn off, as you can set up a turn on and a turn off time. I would recommend you to take the good night read um, because then if the sun sets, no, the blue light filter will turn on and if the sun rises, the blue light filter will turn off automatically. There's something else what supports your eyes in the night because the screen is pretty bright and yeah, that disturbs your eyes also in the evening hours. Everyone knows if it's dark around you and you look in the bright screen, that's not the comfortable. You know? I think you have you had it already, that situation. And uh, you can enable a dark theme for that. Let me show you how. So just scroll down here, then go you on the second page and then go on the dark mode. Uh, and you will see already uh, many things turn into dark here. And uh, you can see that especially in the settings, Everything is dark now on the back and that uh, protects as well your eyes. Huh? And by the way, this point saves a lot of energy because this OLED screen will turn off some pixels here. So a pretty nice mode for that. But the disadvantage here of this feature is if there's a lot of sunlight, you can't really read well the display and that's not good for the eyes. So this is why I recommend to you to have it only at the evening hour. And um, the best is to uh, charge it automatically, no? as we have seen before with the uh, blue light filter. So just scroll down your way next to the camera, go to the second page, long press dark mode. We have some more settings then, also the chance to chat through the dark mode. And if you enable it here, take the first one from sunset to sunrise. So if the sun sets, no, the dark mode will turn on. If the sun rises, the dark mode will turn off. So a pretty nice feature. You have to offer the dark mode here that you can follow the video better because we have a lot of light here. And the next feature I want to show you is for the status bar. No? Uh, we have here the, the battery, the, um, the network uh, strange and also the Wi-Fi strange, but there's something pretty important what is missing because uh, the internet is meanwhile pretty, pretty important for the smartphones and it's good to know the speed, which speed is actually available. No? Let me show you a bit more about. So just scroll down your way next to the camera, tap on the symbol for the settings, then look for the point. Mm -hmm. Notifications and control center. And if you scroll down a bit, you will have the point status bar. And the second point is interesting because you can show the connection speed. If you're doing that, you will see here whenever you use the internet here, the speed of the internet, and that is pretty, pretty interesting. And sometimes if you feel that the phone is a bit slow, you can check out what is the problem. Right? And if the speed is okay here, then um, yeah, then you know that something else is disturbing. So you should enable this. An interesting tool, by the way. Another important tool is to save energy. And it's a time every day you don't need your smartphone. If you are sleeping, huh? and most of the time it's the same time we are sleeping and why not turn off the phone automatically and turn it on automatically after again. That gives you also less stress no? because you can't re receive any unnecessary notifications and so on. Now let me show you a bit more about, just tap you on the security app, no? so the green app here with white shield in it and tap on battery. On the upper bar here, go on battery and you will have to point schedule power on off. Below you can schedule off time no? and you can also uh, set up the repeating time you know, if, if it should be uh, turned off um, every day at the same time or if you just want to have it weekdays no? if you are on the weekend um, uh, yeah, want to stay up longer uh, or you can customize it no? if you work sometimes also on the weekend and so on. So pretty Pretty nice mode that helps you to save a lot of energy and also you can set up a power on time if you're afraid that maybe the alarm doesn't ring or something like this. You can turn it on and maybe here in the morning you can set up the time as you want. And um, yeah, then 
during this time you save energy because you don't need your smartphone and yeah that's great think about our environment yeah, the next feature I want to show you is for our camera because sometimes we need our camera pretty quick because we have a nice situation and we don't want to miss that picture. That's a nice way to launch the camera by just double tapping the power button and you're immediately at the camera without missing time. But don't wonder if this doesn't work at you right now because you have to enable this feature first. Let me show you how you can do that. For that, just scroll anywhere next to the camera, tap on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go down to the point additional settings. As you can see, there are many nice things. And here we will need to point gesture shortcuts and launch camera. And the first point here has to be enabled. No? So just tap here to, uh, if it's marked blue, then it's enabled. And that means whenever you double press the power button, you're immediately at the camera without missing time. And what is also pretty, pretty great, even if your phone is on standby, just double press the power button and you're immediately at the camera without missing time. And hey, make this save your great picture one day. Yeah, the next feature I want to show you is a one-handed mode because uh, yeah, if you want to use your phone with one hand, it's pretty large. You cannot reach everything, especially here on top and so on, even if the light version of the Xiaomi 13 is a bit smaller. Uh, but there's a way to make the upper part here a bit lower. Well, let me show you how we will need the navigation bar for that. And if you swipe from the inside to the outside, anyhow, which direction, this upper part it's getting a bit lower and now we can reach everything here. No? Pretty, pretty nice. And yeah, so we can do the stuff now we wanted to do. And don't wonder if this feature doesn't work at you right now because you have to enable it first. So just scroll on your way next to the camera, tap on the symbol for the settings, scroll down to the point additional settings and you will find the point one-handed mode. And this one-handed mode has to be marked blue and it's enabled and that means whenever I swipe from the inside to the outside, any of this direction, I have the top here a bit lower. If you want to end this one-handed mode, just tap here on the outside and you're back into regular mode. And the last thing I want to show you is for the navigation bar here. Uh, the navigation bar, you know, we have here the go back button, the home button and the recent tab button, but you can set up some more actions on these buttons. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll anywhere next to the camera, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Go now to the point home screen. Here it is. Look for the orange symbol with the house in it, the home screen. And go now on system navigation. And important is here that you have enabled the button. So it's enabled by default. No? But if you work with the gestures, it doesn't work. So you need the buttons for. And if you have the buttons, like in my case, or like many people no, who are having this Redmi smartphone, then go here to the point button shortcuts. And I can set up some more actions. Maybe with the back button. No? If you long press the back button, you can add now maybe an action like to turn on the torch. No? So that means if I tap for short here, I go back. But if I press longer the back button, I have now the torch. No? And if I don't press it again, I turn it off. So a pretty, pretty nice mode. You can check it out a bit. And yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer your question and uh, give you a nice setup for your phone. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. That will be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for And I've created also some other videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. You can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for your support and yeah, maybe the next time. <laughs> Ciao.